My name is Tom Cook. I'm the Public Information Officer for the Montana Historical Society and also a former political reporter. This beautiful uh, object you see before me is one of my favorite in the collection, and it is a gavel that was presented to Senator Thomas Walsh, a person who's sometimes overlooked in Montana history, but was one of the most uh, important and influential members of, of the, the de delegation that Montana ever sent to Washington. Uh, and uh, he, among other things, while a senator from 1913 to 1933, uh, he brought a, was an instrumental and fought the Teapot Dome scandal, which uh, took down the Standard Trust and was a major, major important part of Montana and U.S. history. This gavel was presented to him when he chaired the National Democratic Convention in, in 1932 in Chicago. It's a ceremonial gavel, but it's one very much representative of what he did and what he represented as, as a progressive. It was presented to him. It's anthracite coal, polished, beautiful piece of, of material uh, that the coal miners presented to him. And it represents, again, him being for the little man that got little coal miner, the people that, that uh, made the country work. Um, also, uh, Walsh was also a very close confidant of, of Franklin Roosevelt. And uh, in fact, uh, he was heading to Roosevelt's inauguration in uh, 1933 when he died and he had already been handpicked by Roosevelt to become the next Attorney General of the United States. That would have been the highest executive branch official that Montana had ever had in its history. Unfortunately, he died on, train, on the train while en route to there. But to me, this gavel speaks eloquently of a progressive, a person who uh, was very important in Montana and national politics, and, and one that uh, was honored by the common man. And this gavel represents, uh, I guess, the the spirit and the authority of, of uh, a man who's sometimes overlooked in Montana history.